Iran. We gaan straks voor het goud schieten tussen Rusland en China en die finales. Uh, coming up that. now, it's time for the mixed team medals. Still on our 50 meter range. First up is the bronze medal match. And we'll see Italy going up against Iran. Italy shot a 13.74 in the ranking round to be ranked fourth. Iran a 13.56. Italy lost to China in the semi finals as Iran fell to Russia. And that's what brings them here. But interestingly, Italy lost in a shoot-off, but went to a measure. So it's time to welcome out the teams for the mixed teams bronze medal match. It's time to greet Italy and Iran. And here they come, Italy leading out from the two teams, Maria Virgilio, 22 years old, and 51-year-old uh, Alberto Simonelli, who was the individual silver medalist at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Yeah, uh, Roli Simonelli, one of the longest tenured para archers still on the circuit. Fantastic, fantastic shot been a member of the Italian World Cup team and shot at the 2017 World Archery Championships in Mexico City with the able-bodied squad. Told me earlier in the week that he's a happy guy but when he puts on that shirt, that Italian shirt, all focus goes on the target and things get serious. Well, things may well get serious for him but it smiles on the faces of the Iranian team Razia Shir Mohammadi a 41 year old who was a team bronze medalist at the London 2012 Paralympic Games is teamed up with Alassina Manshaizadeh who we've already seen out on the field of play here in the Netherlands Well, whoever's in charge of the music has suddenly changed gear a bit. It's gone a little uh, housey out here. And the mixed team event is uh, is a pretty uh, fast one compared to the, the normal the regular team events. It's a newer format. And an important one in para-archery. Uh, since the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games, the team event was removed from the para-competition and it's only individual and mixed team. So that is why at this World Championships, the mixed team has been such a key part of the qualification process for Tokyo 2020. The top four mixed teams in each division booked places. Including these two, then? Including these two. But it's a team place, not an athlete place, right? Correct. They'll have to go through their own qualification procedures in their, within their teams to decide who fills those places at the Paralympic Games. Well, it's time to go for the bronze medal in this mixed team event. And Alberto Simonelli is going to get us underway. Not a bad start from Italy.
It's a solid start from Iran, but already trailing by one. Just four arrows in each end of the mixed team event. Nine. Alberto Simonelli both opening and closing the shooting order for Italy. So they can change order within the two sets of pairings. As long as each of them shoots once in the rotation, they can change order. Nine. So 37 out of possible 40. I suppose the importance of that is having your notionally strongest uh, athlete shooting first and then last in case time is a, a, a concern. Now, Rolly's a very experienced para archer. He was silver medalist in Beijing at the Paralympics and in Rio at the Paralympics. And he actually won the first Please. World Archery Para Championships before the turn of 2000. He's been shooting for 25 years, so if you want anyone on your team, you'd, you'd want Rolly. Uh, 36 uh, with a 10 at the end for Iran means they trail, but only by one point, Italy with the early advantage. I've got to say, Chris, I love the fact that Alberto Simonelli uh, is happy to have the nickname Roly. Uh, obviously, it refers to his wheelchair, and he's got no qualms about it. It normalizes uh, something that really these days is quite normal. I, the more you talk with these athletes, the more you have to appreciate their sense of humor. Uh, it's, it's, uh, some of them have had particularly hard lives, uh, and they've all come out of it. They're all performing at a world-class level in a, in a sport at the end of the day. And you, you tend not to, not to achieve that if you dwell on the past. It's, it's a positive attitude, it's a good attitude, and that's why the atmosphere here has been so good all week. Well, get a good feel for the, the atmosphere in each camp. It was all smiles from Iran as they came out, but now you can see the serious look on their faces. There's an air of calmness on the Italian side of the shooting line. Iran trailing by a single point will shoot first in the second end of the bronze medal match here in Sertgenbosch. What's interesting about Rezio is as she draws up, she's out of her chair. And then when she gets to full draw, she kind of settles back into it. Just see that wind picking up. And one drifting left and the wind behind. One drifting over to the right. smooth and composed draw I suppose that comes with uh, all those years of experience shooting archery looked very comfortable indeed Nine. but so does the less experienced Maria Andrea This level is opening a door, and the Italians look very calm and cool and collected. Well, just as I say that.
Nine. Well, so an eight and a nine is not what they expected. In fact, that eight is going to be uh, subject to a measure. But even if it stays down at seven points, that's still another three point advantage for the Italians. Now, I saw how composed that uh, Alberto Simonelli was. I think we're going to have a look back at uh, his X in this match. Look how smooth and solid and stable that is as it goes out of the uh, bow and straight into the X. It is released his textbook. It's, it's bombastic. It, it, you know, it has that explosiveness that, that, uh, that a world-class compound archer looks for. It's certainly smooth and solid, and it seems to be rubbing off, as you said, Chris, on uh, his younger teammate, Virgilio. But every archer has their own process and their own way of shooting, and unless there's a catastrophe within that process, uh, they can shoot consistently. Yeah, and one of the one of the great things about the mixed team event is it's not about just you; it's about sharing that experience with your partner, sharing your experience with that teammate, and, and understanding how they shoot, so you can learn from what they're doing. The start of the third end, trailing by five. Iran start with a nine. In fact, both Razer, Mohammadi, and Alessina and Sherzda both shoot nines. Rolly looking to pick up a bronze medal will definitely leave with a memento from Sir Bosch because he has tattoos of all of the Paralympic Games he's attended, and underneath is the name of the city in which he qualified the place. And because they're in this match, Italy qualified its place to Tokyo 2020 here in Sotogenbosch. But that's assuming that he gets selected for the team. No. How could he not be selected? How could Alberto Simonelli, one of the greatest para archers of all time, not be selected? I tend to agree with you. Just watching. Razia sit back into her chair after she's pulled up that bow. a great shot there takes a little bit of pressure off Simonelli not that he looks at all bothered another chance for Italy to go one more point ahead they need a 10 though and that's just what they got the five-point lead is extended to six. Italy go into the final end with an 111 to 105 lead over Iran. Simonelli and his beard. He, um, he started growing a beard because he was in hospital recovering from an operation a few months back over the winter. And then when he came back, he shot really well and he decided the beard was lucky. So he's keeping it until Tokyo. Well, it's certainly 
given both of them a bit of luck here. Both shooting tens to finish off that end. That ten helped extend the lead by a single point to six. And Italy looking very comfortable. Alberto Simonelli even affording a little smile there. So, Iran trailing. Razia Shir Mohammadi will start us off in this end ahead of Alessina Manchester. And look at the technique here that Chris has been talking about. Just lifting herself up and away from the back, settling in yeah. to the draw, and a 10 is just what they needed. Well, a questionable 10 there, but uh, they'll take it. May well go to a measure. That looks out on our screen. I would say it will be marked down to a 9, but it doesn't matter because it's all in Italy's hands here. 9. Just remember, leading by 6 going into this, they can afford to drop 5 points and still take the victory. Even if Iran get a maximum. Ten. The wind nearly straight head on into eight. them. That one's just drifted up a little bit and into the eight. lead by just two with one arrow to go and Italy are yet to shoot their third and fourth so this can be done in a single arrow effectively a 10 will take them to 140 and you've got to think Sancelli's going to hit the target nine. a nine means a five is all that's required to win. All the pressure is off. Simonelli. He's done this so many times before. It's Looking ten. solid throughout the hold. Gets a 10 so and there is winner. the outburst of emotion. It still means so much to Alberto Simonelli as he high fives Maria Andrea Virgilio. They've taken the bronze here in Sertigan Bosch. They've beaten Iran very comfortably. The provisional score 149 to 141. They will go and measure the Iranian second arrow. We both think it's a nine, but it could get marked up to a 10, but it still won't be enough. Italy have the bronze.